All right, it's the start of week two. Um, so to start off this week, I'm just going to talk a little bit about portion control. And that can, for many people, be different things. Um, for many of you, what that's going to mean, um, maybe for the remainder of at least this six weeks, not for the rest of your life, but it's going to mean measuring things out. Like I had mentioned before, a lot of us in today's society, I don't think, recognize what a true portion is. And even though we eat good quality foods and put an emphasis on doing so, I think if we're not seeing results on the scale and we're not seeing any weight loss results, there's still a divide between um, what we should be eating in terms of portions and what we are eating. Uh, so we're going to focus a little bit on that. What I'd like you to do this week, if you have it, is to pull out your measuring cups, a cup, a half a cup, quarter cup, tablespoon, um, a scale if you have one, and start really defining and measuring and becoming more aware of what each portion looks like. Because inevitably, what this should lead to is being able to control your portions visually with something like your hand. And you'll see an example of what portions with your hand would look like in the booklet that you're going to be provided with that you should have kind of looked through already. Um, but if you go back to that page, there's some simple measurements based off of your hand and your thumb that can really help guide you visually once you've kind of gotten a lock on what to expect and what a true portion looks like, especially once it's on a plate. Um, so again, I kind of want you to start there. If you're at the point where you've done it in the past and you feel like you can get away with just doing it visually, I'm all for it. I want you to roll with whatever you feel comfortable with. But at the same time, and this is why we're doing measurements weekly, if you do something and we measure you next week and we haven't seen much change, we know that may not be the wrong step in the future, but it might be the wrong step right now. So we want to try and kind of streamline everything, get you feeling successful, get you becoming more aware, and let the ball roll so that you can continue on your successful journey uh, beyond these six weeks.